Such a peaceful morning. Absolutely love it. the rabbit tracks. <coughs> the rabbit tracks. All sorts of wildlife on the go down here. Last two or three days. Oh, it's a real winter wonderland down here today. Beautiful. I'm gonna keep walking until I find a nice spot to have a Little fire. It's a nice little spot. There's no wind in here. A little tiny bit of snow falling, just make it nice. And there's an old stump there. I might have to try to make that one into a little seat. There you go, squirrel. So I'm going to take this chunk of wood from back in my woodshed there. It's an old piece of uh, burnt wood from back in 2013. We had a big fire actually, so I cut some of that wood and it's nice and dry. And I'm going to try to make a Swedish candle out of it and uh, boil our kettle and stuff on that now. So I'll probably make four cuts, only a small chunk of wood, eh? Two cuts there, they want a bit wide and uh, wider so that they burn a bit faster, you know. Uh, I opened up that one there too, really, it's three cuts, but it'll a uh, little bit of air in and uh, it'll burn a bit faster. I don't tend to be here too long, just don't boil the kettle and warm up a few cape and stuff, so it should be fine. So I grabbed a little bit of birch steer off a tree back to trail. I thought I took it, got it on camera, but I guess I didn't. I think I had my camera turned off instead of on. I kept it in my pocket, keep it a bit dry. So we'll put a bit of this in here now. 
tracker full of birch and not too tight, but I'll have to get things started. Well, one of my main reasons I wanted to come out here today, I got a bit of a flu, so I'm <clears throat> sound a bit nasally. Sorry about that, but I wanted to come out today, and it was such a beautiful day out in the woods, and I got this new French press coffee machine, and uh, I've never owned one of these before, so I'd, I had to actually Google to see how it worked. So I figured I'd come out today and give it a give it a try, you know, and see what kind of cup of coffee we can make. Willow's with me again today, of course. She goes pretty much everywhere with me, and uh, today is her birthday. She's one year old today. Happy birthday, Willow. Didn't take too long. <clears throat> no, I think I'll throw in a bit of coffee there. That's sit for four or five minutes. That's sit for a while and then press her down. Smoke cape line. Him right up there now and warmed him right up. Extra bit of smoke from the fire, make him taste even better. Hot. Take the heads off. Willow likes the heads. Happy birthday. You ran her that in the birthday cake, wouldn't you? Mmm. So good. Alright, I guess we're going to try this in a minute now. It's been about five minutes. By the way, I bought that from a place in Ontario called uh, Mountain Warehouse. And uh, I bought for buying a nice bit of stuff from there. I only discovered them this summer when I was up in London, Ontario. But they got a couple of stores around, no doubt, across Canada. But uh, pretty good buy, I must say. There's a good, uh, good price on things. And I bought three or four knapsacks of them. And this kind of stuff, I bought a whole bunch of uh, camping supplies out of them. Prices are not not that expensive to start off with. I mean, they have these big sales on 40, 50, even 70% off sometimes. And even when they have the percentage off, like 50% off, it's uh, above and beyond the sale price even. So you get stuff uh, pretty cheap. This was 
I think I paid, I don't know, 20 bucks or something for that. And it was, you know, it was 50 or 60% off then. That's not bad. By the way, Mountain Warehouse is not sponsoring anything here today, so it's just me saying what I'm experiencing firsthand. All right, here we go for the big press. Maybe I'm doing this right, maybe I'm not. If I'm not doing it right, let me know. Alrighty. Now, one thing I did forget today was my mug. It's back at my skidoo, which is about 15 minutes walk away. So I'm going to have to improvise here today, and this is what I brought the coffee in. So we're going to drink out of this. That's fine. Here we go. Let's do it, and that way you can see what the color of the coffee is, too. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. Looks alright to me. A little weak, but that's not too bad. We'll improve upon that with time. I like a little bit of cream in my coffee, so I spoiled myself and brought a little bit with me here today. pretty much frozen because it's minus minus 16 here today it doesn't take very long for any liquid to uh, freeze up that's why you saw me put snow in there instead of water because I knew the water would be frozen by the time I got here that's gonna be all right now buddy put another keep on the once cheers French press coffee It's good. A little bit of bow sprinkle there, but wow, it's hot too, eh? Warm you right up. Come over. Come on. It's working, but yes. She don't usually get cold. She got. Uh, she's an Australian Shepherd. She got. Uh, two coats or whatever. Not sure exactly how you term that, but she has enough fur on her to keep her warm. She's been out minus 30 and doesn't show any signs of getting cold. She might shiver a little bit. She walks around a little bit and she's warmed up again. Oh my, oh my. That's some powerful good stuff, that is. Anyway, guys, we're going to finish up this coffee and our capelin. And we're going to head around out the wood path again, back to the lake, across the lake, back to the cabin, and spend the weekend at the cabin. So it's going to be a good weekend. Boy, that's good. Okay, guys, cheers. See you next time.